Thank you for learning Siebel with the Siebel Hub. We have a unique, comprehensive and always up-to-date collection of Siebel CRM 2021 training classes. We can deliver live online and on-site training in the highest quality with the most experienced instructors. And we also offer a unique modular Siebel CRM 20 and 21 training. Follow the links in the description or on this slide to learn more and learn Siebel with the Siebel Hub. In this demonstration, we are going to take a look at list of values migration. So we are in Siebel tools and we are copying a list of values record to create a new one in the development database. And we're doing this right in the main workspace. So let's call the new entry just that main. And so that's a new record, which we would like to transport to the test or production environment. And let's do an update on an existing record. Let's maybe use doctor. And now it's doctor update. So that's an update to an existing list of value record again. And we would like to transport both these changes to uh, the test or production environment. So we just make sure it's visible in the main workspace. And uh, we are using 20.12 here. So it's perfectly possible to change or create list of values just inside the main or integration workspace. You don't need a developer workspace in that version. And we are opening the uh, application on the development database, uh, create a new contact record, just to do a quick test that the list of values is available in the development environment. So that's verified here. Now to migrate these changes, we create a migration plan in the migration application. And it's going to be incremental list of values. And it's going to be synchronous. So we use def and prod. And we just select the incremental application workspace service. Okay, and we execute that plan. Notice that we did not deliver any uh, workspace. Uh, it just picks up those changes based on the watermark it gets from the target system. So there's a special watermark for C data changes. And it's already exporting and it has exported two rows. So that's fine. And so it's packaging has successfully imported into the production or test environment and it has imported two records. So not much really much to do here. So that process is quite fast. And so the execution is done. Just verify the history it has a success status. And it also calls the um, Siebel Runtime Metadata Publisher service to invalidate the seed cache. So literally reloads the cache. And now let's log into production. So we can verify this here, create a new contact. And let's see the drop down and the changes have arrived in the main workspace in production. And now let's visit the list of values view, just to prove the point that we see these records, of course. We see the doctor update record and the main record in the list. Now 
Now let's do an experiment. I'm updating the list of values in production because we can do that in as of 19.3 and higher. And we are doing another update in the development database. So that value we append def here in the development database and we have appended prod in the production database. So let's just requery re to make sure changes are persisted. And now let's just run that migration plan again and see what happens. Again, we have updated in production and the same record we have updated in development. You would notice that there are no rows imported this time. And that is interesting. So the execution has completed already successfully. Uh, and there was one row exported. So this is the export log. But again, there was just zero rows imported. And this is uh, as designed. So this is not a bug or uh, mistake. Let's just go to the application and just refresh the query and we'll see the the value we entered in the production environment just prevails. So it has not been updated, even if we had an update in development. And to actually describe what happened is uh, there is a system preference and if it's not present, its value is default to, to target uh, seed migration priority. So we just set that seed migration priority to source and that value will drive the behavior that the source will win. So we make another update in uh, production and We run the migration again, and now let's see how the system preference will change the behavior. So now there is uh, one row exported, and one row imported. So the system preference definitely had an effect here. And let's just log in again to production and verify Now we've overridden the default behavior and the development environment, the source has won uh, the conflict resolution of the same record being updated in two environments.